What are the main products and the target markets of the machine? EMA Dairy and Food have some of the most developed filling capabilities covering a wide range of dairy and edible fat products. These will remain to be our two most important target market. However, this machine development gives us the opportunities to look into other market sectors such as beverages, food products, wet salads, where today we are not present. We also have the possibility to integrate filling solutions from other EMA business units which could put us into the dry ingredients market and cosmetics where this type of filling and closing equipment is also used. Could you summarize the key principle for the development? Market orientation was very important to us. This space is an active market with many players. It is important that we understood this point within our URS preparation. The market requires some important aspects. Flexibility in terms of size, hygienic design, but most importantly, it is a price conscious sector. Customers will not accept compromise on design. Today's technology that aids efficient operation is considered as a standard by most of our customers. What production capacities are we looking at for this application? Clearly the output speed is product dependent, but our nominal operation is 40 cycles per minute. We would expect on the four digit machine to achieve 9,600 cups per hour, or if you prefer, 160 cups per minute. Subsequently, our three digit machine would be 7,200 cups per hour, and our two digit machine, 4,800 cups per hour. What are our limitations in terms of cup size and shape? We can handle both round and rectangular packaging. The two-digit machine can handle cups or tubs up to a maximum diameter of 180 millimeters and any rectangular size within that envelope. Our maximum fill on this machine would be up to two kilos. Our three-digit machine would handle cups up to 130 millimeter diameter and our four-digit machine cups up to 100 millimeter diameter. Both of these machines can handle a fill volume up to one kilo. You mentioned filling range. Can you explain that more in detail, please? Yes. Subject to the number of digits, we are able to change the diameter of the filling cylinders to control our weight range. We have a number of standards that will always be used, but as we have a servo control on both the filling stroke and the cup rise and fall, we do have the ability to carry out a multi-shot feature where we deposit twice into the same cup. The output speed is a little bit reduced in this case, but as this is a simple recipe selection for the customer, it does help maximize the machine and their potential market. In terms of additional options, can you explain where we are? To this point, we have concentrated on the base machine and its functions. However, we have also considered and have available efficiency options for cups, pre-cut foil seals, and snap-on lids. The automatic feeders will cover buffer times of 15 to 20 minutes. We have reviewed market requests and have options for pre and post filling, all with integrated CIP. Moving forward, we have underway a development for hygienic cleaning of cups and seals, which will help our customers in extending their shelf life of products. We understand that we work in a number of markets. Some options are seen as standard, and we take these developments as they are requested. You mentioned previously that this is a fast-moving market and we need to be able to react quickly. Where are we in terms of delivery targets? We have understood that this is a very important point in this market sector and one of our key principles in the design process was to target a four to five month delivery. The mentality of having the same machine frame and as many common components as possible helps this and we anticipate that between 60 and 65% of our components will be the same across all of our digit platforms so only the customer specific components will need to be designed and manufactured according to their specification. 